This is Glassboard Learning. I'm Mr. Chen. Let's do some math. Here are the problems for today. I want you to pause the video and try them out yourself first. Then press play so you can check your work and your answers with me. All right, let's do it. For number six, I have two V plus seven equals to three. And I wanna to try to figure out what is V? What number that can go into V will make this entire equation true? Hmm, I wanna get V by itself. And just like uh, when we're balancing a seesaw, whatever we do to one side, we have to do it to the other side. Um, I'm going to subtract seven first. Because this is plus seven, I'm going to do the inverse operation. That's minus seven. And if I subtract seven here, I gotta subtract seven on the other side of the equation. So that's going to be minus seven. Three minus seven, that's going to give me negative four. I can drop down the two V, drop down the equal sign. I have two times a number, two times V equals to negative four. Uh, I can divide both sides by two. If I divide this side by two, I gotta divide this side by two. That will cancel out and V will give me negative two. Now, if you really want to see if your answer is correct, we can plug it back in. Uh, let me see, two times negative two, that's going to be negative four. Negative four plus seven, oh, it's three. So my answer is correct. For number 20, I have three fifths G minus one thirds equals to negative 10 thirds. Ew, it's fractions, don't worry. It's not that hard. Um, I'm going to get G by itself. Let me see if I want to isolate G. Oh, I can, uh, right here it's minus one thirds. I'm going to add one thirds on both sides because that's the inverse operation. So plus one thirds, that will cancel out. Oh, if I do that to the left side, I gotta do the same thing to the right side. So plus one thirds here. Let me see, negative 10 thirds plus one thirds, that's going to be negative nine thirds or negative nine divided by three. Oh, that's just negative three. I can drop down a three over five G. And then I wanna get G by itself, but it's being multiplied by three fifths. You could do two things. You can divide both sides by three fifths, or you could multiply both sides by the reciprocal of three fifths, which is five over three, which is like the same thing, but I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna multiply both sides by five over three. So this way, this five and this five can cancel out, and this three and this three can cancel out. Ooh, if I multiply that side by five thirds, I gotta also multiply this side by five thirds. I'm gonna get G will equal to, the three and the three will cancel out. That's gonna be just a negative one, that's a one. Negative one times five, that's gonna be negative five. My answer is G equals to negative five. For number 32, I have six times the quantity, X minus two, that equals to negative 18. Hmm, first thing I wanna do is I want to distribute the six into the X and to the negative two. Here I go, six times X, that's gonna be six X. Six times negative two, that's negative 12 and that equals to negative 18. I wanna get x by itself, so I'm going to uh, add 12 on both sides. That's the inverse operation of subtracting by 12. That's gonna cancel out, and because I added 12 on the left side, I gotta do the same thing on the right side. So plus 12 right here too. Negative 18 plus 12, that's gonna be negative six. Drop down the six x here, and then, Six times the number equals to negative six. If you guys can do it in your head, yeah, it's just negative one. But you know what? I'm gonna divide six here. I'm gonna divide six here because that's the inverse operation. And then x will equal to negative one. That is your answer. Let's double check our answer. Uh, if I plug it back in here, negative one minus two, that's negative three. And negative three times six, oh yeah, that's negative 18. If you thought this tutorial was helpful, make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel so you can get the latest updates. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.